Hi, this is Bill, and this is going to be a quick demonstration of the Sky RC uh, Bluetooth module. Uh, I, I got this from Banggood Hobbies, and uh, and this is a module, a Bluetooth module that is used to help uh, program the uh, Toro 150 amp ESC here. Um, I've got the ESC hooked up, and then I've plugged in the uh, the Bluetooth module into the ESC here. And I've already paired this uh, Bluetooth module with my with my cell phone here, uh, using the Bluetooth settings within the phone. Uh, the steps are pretty straightforward and simple. And this is my phone here, and I found that there are two different apps on here. Um, one is the Sky RC Link, and then the other one is just uh, the Sky R Sky RC ESC Link. Um, I first tried the ESC Link, and I could not get that one to work. So then I went ahead, uninstalled that application and then I installed the SkyRC link instead and uh, that seemed to work better for me so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and it uh, you know it takes a little moment for it to to launch up here and we'll go ahead and wait for that and uh, this is uh, what you see so um, these are all the settings uh, it's got uh, an ESC default if you want to set it back to the original factory settings uh, you can read and apply changes uh, with the three buttons on top and then it has uh, several buttons along here uh, for different um, uh, sub menus so under the general settings um, you can actually uh, uh, name your setting if you want um, you can say on the, the, the run mode here if you want uh, uh, forward brake, forward brake reverse I think I want to go ahead and do that we'll do that and I can say apply changes there and it takes a moment for it to uh, to set that. Uh, you can set the normal reverse on the uh, the motor. You can adjust reverse seat speed set for 25 percent, and then you can also adjust your voltage cutoff. Um, I've got it set for auto, and as of right now, it's uh, set for uh, 9.6 volts. Uh, let's see. It has different values here for the ESC overheat protection. We'll go ahead and check that. You can see the different options here. 185, the default is set for 221, and you can raise that to 257, or you can disable it completely. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep the, uh, the default setting. And the same thing, it also has a motor overheat protection as well. And go to the throttle menu, it's got a punch uh, rate switch, uh, which is at 50%. Uh, I think I might drag that over and maybe start out with uh, maybe 70, 73%. You can drop, jog the wheel over. Uh, it's got a two, a two stage, so you can start off with the first stage maybe at 5, and the second stage I can go ahead and drag that over if I want. Decrease that for for a minimum. I'll have to play with that and see how, the, how this works. And it's got a throttle input, input curve, so you can do linear or you can do uh, expo. So you can go ahead and you can set your curve ratio however you want. Say OK. And I can back that out. And then let's see, let's go to the brake settings here. And let's see, you can also set your stage for the brakes at 10%, 15%. You could also set up a custom uh, in input curves, turbo settings here, and it looks like you can also upgrade the software, and I guess this version is version 1, of, or hardware version 1, software is version 1.8, and uh, that pretty much covers all the features to see which, what to expect if you decide to upgrade to the Bluetooth module, and uh, I'm seeing, it seems to be pretty straightforward and simple for me. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions, uh, Follow the link on the description of this video, and I'll be happy to um, answer your questions from there. Thanks.